Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and for today, we are just going to go right into it. I want to show you how to download mods in City Skylines. So how do you install those mods in City Skylines when you're playing City Skylines PC? That is one of the questions that I've been asked a lot recently on my YouTube shorts and TikTok. So let's get started. And okay guys, so this is the Steam Workshop and you can see that I have City Skylines. It is currently running. This is the main City Skylines Steam Workshop page. Now what you get on this main page is a lot of news and information about the game. Like you can see Liftoff, City Skylines Airport DLC, trailer released. You can see other things going on with City Skylines. Basically, this is how you keep up to date with the game itself, City Skylines. Just what's going on, what people are doing. Just that is your basic news. Now, what you can't, what you all came here for? How do you get to the Steam Workshop for City Skylines to download your assets and mods and whatnot? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this three little dots. Click on the workshop. Okay, excellent. Now that we're in the workshop itself. What do you see? On the right hand side, you see maps, mods, districts. You can basically download anything that is in the Steam Workshop. So how do you actually download a mod for City Skylines? Excellent question. You can see that, let's say we wanted to stream friendly radio upbeat. What you do is you're gonna click the plus sign and that will automatically subscribe the mod into your Steam Workshop and essentially it will be installed in your game. So if you look over here, see this gray check mark? That is exactly what it shows that I'm subscribed and it is downloaded in my game. Now, how do I activate these mods? That is the next question. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now that we've downloaded a mod, how do you actually edit the mods to make sure they're, they're in your game? Well, you're gonna go to Content Manager and you can go to Mods and you can turn on and off the mods. If there is a blue box, that means the mod is activated. If there is a dark gray or almost black looking box, for example, we're gonna use the 81 tiles mod. The 81 tiles mod destroyed, well, I should say got destroyed by the airport DLC. So I deactivated, so it is not on. So this is how you can turn your mods on and off. So how do you manage them while you're in the game? Well, let's show you how to do that. So now that we're back into actual City Skylines gameplay, we want to know how do you mess around with the mods that you just downloaded? Well, that is a great question. If you go to the top right, you can go to the settings and you're like, well, what do I do now? I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't see anything. Well, if you go to options, you can go to the left and you can see certain mod settings. So for example, you know, if you wanted the pollution solution, you can get rid of noise pollution, ground pollution, water pollution, you can just edit. See the see the blue? If you you can basically click on it and there you go. Okay, noise pollution is back in the game. All right. Well, we're going to remove noise pollution. There's other things that you can do to ultimately edit the mods themselves, but for the most part, this is where you're doing a lot of the work behind the scenes to make sure that your mods are doing their job. One of them that's really prevalent um, when actually using, you know, like in our options that we're in right now um, is the road color changer mod. You know, if you want darker roads, you can edit it from here and it will it'll start loading. So essentially guys, that was the, that was the video I just wanna show you guys. I wanna show everybody how to actually download the mods and how to actually have them activated in your game and then how you use them in your city. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Appreciate you guys watching.